All right, we've got the cylinders cleaned out. I got as much crud carbon as I could get out. I'll show you a picture before of you know what it looks like now when we're done. Now, before I go slamming this intake down, I got one more hose I've got to replace, and this is what's known as your throttle body heat or throttle body bypass, whatever you want to call it. But in the winter time, when it's below 32 degrees and you start this engine cold, you have a potential to freeze the intake up. And what the auto manufacturers figured out in the early 80s is that if you ran some heated coolant through the throttle body, you could melt the ice and basically have good cold start drivability. Now, if you live in a southern climate, a lot of guys are just bypassing it, which you can do. But up here, because we live in cold climate eight months out of the year, when it's below 32 degrees, I can't. The problem with QX4 is that this molded hose is discontinued. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to replace the hose. I went down to my local O'Reilly's and I found I found some molded hose hanging on their wall. So that will fix one side. This is going to fix the hose we're working on now. So see how it has many bends on it and I can get it close. As long as it isn't in the way of the intake and can reach the throttle body, I could care less. So let's get that hose off now because once you put your intake down, getting to this is about almost impossible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the clamp in front of me so I can get to it. And as you can see, I brought it up. Guess what? Hmm. Another hose I got to cut. Nice. Another hose you got to replace? Well, it's going to replace it anyway. And it's one of those things, one hose can destroy this engine. Yeah. You know, the cooling lake, I have no idea where it's coming from, and it's just because you didn't want to replace the hose or can't find it. I noticed a lot of parts for the infinity side are just kind of hard to get. Alright, we're just going to put a little slit in it. We don't want to destroy it because we're going to mold a hose from it. Just, just hold it up like that. Alright, so this is the hot hose. The cold hose is actually pretty easy to get to. The hot hose isn't. So we're going to basically figure out how we're going to mold or make this hose through the two hoses I got. So let's go over to the parts bench and we'll make a hose. Okay. Alright, so with this hose, you can't just go get hose from O'Reilly and do this. Because what's going to happen if it's not molded with the bend, you're going to kink it. And I'll show you what's going to happen. You're going to end up doing that number to it, and you're going to defeat the purpose of this, and can't figure out why you freeze up in the winter time. So I say, don't do that. What we're going to do is we're going to measure this up. I don't care about this bend so much because that'll go straight. But when you're making the 45 degree, you just can't. Uh, you can't. You can't. You can't form it. That's I guess what I'm saying. And it's kind of annoying. I get it, but. You know, if it's there, it's there for a reason kind of thing. All right, so we're going to size it up. We're going to cut it. And this is Gates Hose 18126. I couldn't tell you what I got it off. I just grabbed it off the shelf. Yeah, I think it was like 50 bucks I spent on this fix at my cost. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to make this just a little bit longer, because I'm sure there's probably something in the way. Wasn't that a Nirvana song, something in the way? <laughs> no, no. It was something in the way. <laughs> probably get a copyright for that. Yeah, I would say it. <laughs> Alright, so you're saying, well, what about this bend? I don't really care. It'll mold back with hot water. But that's about as close as we're going to be able to make this hose. So, if you got to replace hoses, 18126 and it's expensive. <laughs> okay, I got one other hose to make. Might as well do that now. A long time. All right, got the hot hose done. So, put that off the side. Now we got the cold hose. 
Same thing, it's got a 45 degree in it. And so when I found this hose, which is 18206, I thought, cool. It's got close to the right bend. I don't have to trim too much of it off. And it has a mold in it, so I'll be okay there. This one I don't have to trim too much off of, which is cool. Let's take a little off the top. Now, if you don't got a set of PVC cutters, I suggest go get a pair. They're like 20 bucks. No, I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> Make nice straight cuts. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer over our hose clamps. A lot easier to do it when it's not in the vehicle. The one thing I would like to do that I don't know that I'm going to be able to is take the outer sheaf off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that idea is going to work out too well. Find a big one and shrink it. That's what they usually tell you to do. Shrink. Okay, so we're just going to put the clamps on. It's a lot easier just to have to slide them down than try to slide over them. Now, if you're doing radiators or water pumps, that could be a different story. All right, that hose is made. Now, I'm probably going to do the heat shrink thing to this one too with the hot pipe. Hmm. Since I got this one that wants to go 45 degrees, I might actually put two of them on there. <laughs> so you see how it's got that bend there? We really don't want it. We want it straight. But to give it some strain relief, we're going to put two pieces on. Just kind of help it out there. Doesn't look the best, but it'll work. All right, put our clamps back on. Put that towards the front so when I put it back down, I can spin it around. And just enough to slide it on and push it forward. And that, my folks, is how you can customize the hose without the actual part number. We do want to know what the part number is. It's 14056A and 14056NA. Uh, so that's all we can do. All right, back to vehicle. All right, our uh, custom fitted throttle body hose fits nice. Make sure it's kind of in the same area. Luckily the bend's going the opposite way. We should be okay there. As long as it don't kink, it don't matter. I'm trying to get that clamp right. It's something else. Yeah, I can see why people cuss at those spring clamps. They sure work good. Sometimes you just got to give them a bit of encouragement. Now 
Yeah, trying to get that final adjustment. I actually had to put the clamp down first and then put the hose on. That's the thing with aftermarket hoses, spring clamps. Luckily it'll fit tighter, but then on the bad note, it's hard to get them set right. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're filming for a nipple edge. Alright, we're good there. The hose can bend, hot section done. And other than that, we are ready to do a quick uh, check. We're going to suck the combustion chambers out. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to suck the intake runners out. We're going to set the knock sensor. It has to go on this side. And then you have to bring your fuel injection wires around. But leave them accessible. But. One quick little cleanup and show you the inside of the cylinders. Other than that, we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>